Nowadays, you can get a movie on your phone, you can get a movie on the airplane, you can get a movie on your laptop. When you lose what makes a movie special, you lose filmmaking. Before there were theaters, filmmakers would take their films in the road with them and show them to different cities. But that's kind of what we're doing in a sense. We're bringing projectors, speakers, just everything you need. We're just looking for a wall, blank wall, and that's all we need to show you our work. Rolling up to the back door club, Friday night it's a band I love. Kinda hope I see you there again. Again. My name is Joe Dwyer. I'm a director, producer, and editor with Auspicious Phoenix Productions, which is an independent film production company based in Boston, Massachusetts. Today we're here at the Living Gallery in Brooklyn. We're on our first stop on our nationwide rolling review roadshow tour of short films that we produced entirely in our studio in Somerville. Auspicious Phoenix Productions is uh, myself, Oleg Bolotov, and Jim Dandy, three Boston University film and television graduate students. We decided let's make a production company, let's make work through it because we just want to make movies for the rest of our lives. There's uh, five films showing tonight. I have one that I directed called Blood Highway. It's a throwback to the old grindhouse, like exploitation, action horror movies. And we shot it on 16 millimeter film. But that's really exciting for us because it's all practical effects. There's no CGI. Um, and we got an opportunity to tell a really interesting story on film. We have one called uh, Quietus, which is directed by Joy Song. And it's more of a uh, meditative concept film. It's about a woman um, understanding and going through the idea of rebirth. She, she's confronted with a dead body that's actually her, and then is gradually, over the course of a series of scenes, goes back through this process of rebirth. And there's no dialogue, so it's told entirely through pictures, and you still feel something very real as you're, as you're watching it. There's a dance film, which is, is something that I had never really seen before. Our friend Alvaro had put together a, um, a dance film that his girlfriend choreographed on stage, and then they decided to translate it to film, and, and shoot a short film of that same performance, and try to translate the way that he felt when he saw it on stage to a, a film experience. Paul's film is a, he can speak more to it, but it's a science fiction 1950s kind of B-movie about a filmmaker who has a Martian living in his head that is controlling his thoughts and, and basically trying to get him to project a film across the entire city. Only this filmmaker doesn't know that he has a Martian living in his head. The final film is one that Jim put together and it's it's broken up into parts that we kind of wanted to break up the individual shorts with. The film that I shot in Japan is called The Literal Lens. It's a film about my journey through uh, filmmaking and through my heritage. Uh, my grandmother is from Japan and so it's a story about how I ended up getting to Japan, what I did to prepare for it, some things that I learned about my grandfather and photography before I left, and then just kind of my self-discovery through learning about the Japanese people and then myself in the process. My name is Paul Villanova. I directed the short film Craniac. 2013, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. I'm fine now, but my wife and I, the way we dealt with it was by sort of making a joke about it and making a character. We called my tumor the unexpected guest. And ever since then, I always thought it'd be cool to come up with a movie idea where there's a character living inside of the guy's head. The music is very much like a throwback to the sci-fi films of the 1950s that really inspired the piece. So like Ed Wood or some of the other films like Forbidden Planet. It's great to find kindred spirits that like you understand and who understand you. All the films were all kind of weird. We all have these kind of weird sensibilities, but they all play off each other. It's a great moment right now for us. Hey guys, hope all the, all the stops go great. I wish I could be there with you. Uh, I'm there with you in my heart and I will be joining you in Boston. So good luck until then. My name is Alvaro Congosto and I am the director of Ladia. Ladia is a character my girlfriend, who is the performer of the piece and choreographer, created. I saw it, I love it, and I thought it would be a good piece to make into a film. So the main challenge was actually to make audience feel the way I felt when I watched it live. Hi, my name is Joy. I directed Quietus. I grew up a lot on Eastern European cinema. Andrei Tarkovsky was a big influence. I love Ingmar Bergman a lot and Tchaikovsky and the way how their aesthetic flows and how austere and minimal everything is. And so that kind of dictates my own taste. The film essentially it goes off the premise where existence precedes essence, where people exist first before finding their own voice, before finding their own being. I'm excited about the electricity that comes with a closeness like this. And these are all very personal movies. We made these by hand. Everything that is you see, we made by hand. Well, I haven't seen any of the films yet completed, so I shot two of them, so I'm very excited to see that. But other than that, 
We're going to a lot of cool places. I'm excited about traveling. After the films are done, we have like a VR station set up where we're experimenting with like some VR filmmaking and storytelling. We just really wanted to show people that there's no one set format to showing a film, making a film, or exhibiting a film. So you're gonna try VR, but make sure you sit down because you might get dizzy. What I just saw was the behind the scenes in VR of how the films were made. From here in New York City, we'll go to Houston, Texas next, and then we'll go to Los Angeles, Denver, a small town in upstate New York called Kinderhook, where we shot scenes from my short film, Blood Highway. And then we're gonna do our final show in Boston at the studio that we have there in Somerville. We gotta go. Adios. Thanks for everything. <laughs> Dry on skin I never thought I'd be the one